So I picked uh, the euro dollar because it's a pretty tight spread and I'm going to custom fit all the scripts for the euro dollar because uh, I could take advantage of the depth of the market in terms of entry uh, running this robot. And this is free robot. Well, it was just a real um, simple approach to retracement trading with a limited time exposure so we know exactly how much per hour this robot costs to run if it should totally get destroyed. Like if it loses every hour, what is the total risk of ruin per hour if this robot's able to uh, keep placing these ridiculous tickets? And if we drop them every hour and they last for an hour, we have a constant rate of exposure. So there would be the, um, if the market's dropping in the classic uh, 45 degree angle kind of thing, I figure that's the, it's coming down like this. If you set this ex expiration of all these tickets expire, and at the very top of that script, there's a, a counter of time. And so far, I've got this robot to run just on this criteria alone. This other criteria doesn't seem to affect anything like you could play with this all day long, but this here does affect it. So to create a team of, uh, to create like 10 variations of this one robot and be able to test them clinically and, you know, uh, really drill down to the stats and, and actually curve fit it. That's what I'll be doing is curve fitting it to be the best robot for that circumstance. And why was that trade plan the best fit for that? And really trying to curve fit it and create a, a utopian, and I'm sure this is the wish of all these do-gooders, is that, no, one day everybody will um, just all hug and get along. Can't we all just get along? Not going to happen. So why are you attempting such stupidity? So this uh, <clears throat> this will be... I'm going to have two robots that I wrote here. So one's going to be a um, hard stop, hard take profit. And the other one's going to be a hard stop, soft take profit. More of a scalp. Uh, not so greedy. So I have a greedy bot and a not so greedy bot. And I guess there's a greedy scale index. Because you're not always going to see these, you know, <laughs> the guy that bought the stock market when Corona hit it. And he's still holding. He's like, yeah, maybe I'll take some off the table. I mean, how many people do you think stood in front of the spike in the Corona stock market spike and got in? And I, I think the spreads were so ridiculous on crude oil that they claimed it was trading at zero. Yeah, I mean, come on. Yeah. Because there was literally, the market was frozen and people complained, well, you know, the slippage. Yeah, it's called real life. It's called lag. Like, by the time the corona stuff, it's kind of funny because the bounce back factor of the sleeping giants of, I mean, the, yeah, I don't know, the get her done people are maybe are fading on the, fading away. It's a new generation of, but, uh, yeah, so the, you know, everybody wants to have money because they feel safe. And whether Bitcoin's trading at 50 grand, now if you got out here, you're going to cash out into American dollars, I'm assuming, or lira or whatever currency. Now, it's funny that they claim fiat currency, uh, this, that. You know what? It's it's a coupon that's available at the store. If you show up, of course, most people are using a digital currency, which is a debit card or a, uh, a credit card, and they're just keeping score for you. In other words, it's like a mortgage. They're not asking you to pay all money right now. And the people that complain about mortgages cracks me up. It's like, well, dude, you're in a house. You don't even, 
you don't own, you know. And now it is overpriced. Why is it overpriced? Because they have mortgages for it. If there was no mortgage, if there was banking, the price of houses would be very cheap. But the people that work at the bank get a paycheck and they make money and they live in a house too. I don't know, what? So it's so hysterical to see the circular fangs crowd of fuck nuttery. But the answer is um, run this EA in the background. Real time looking forward when the market opens next week. But here we're going to just do a curve fit to try to find the utopian bot so why bother building a robot that is curve fitted to a certain scenario or um, uh, you know this retracement idea market plunges comes back what, what could be simpler when you look at a hammer somebody made money buying the wick and 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 dumping so this one's going to scale in in a martingale. But it's maybe not the kind of martingale people would think of. I'm not going to double the ticket, but it's going to be quite intense because if I added up the total risk of this, which I haven't really done. Because I'm not I don't I guess I guess I could give an estimate. We have a, a, a 110 pip stop with a 90 pip last ticket entry. So this is always a, a daunting task is to get MetaTrader. I don't know, maybe if I had a faster computer, but it seems to be such a, that's why I do the crude playback as opposed to every tick. And if, the, if it's about the same math to make this testing faster. So this one's coming in every 60 seconds, which is um, every 60 minutes, we're dropping. It's going to last for one hour. And this is going to be the soft, more of the scalp bot, because it's going to come in like this. Market goes, so here's the current price is when your robot launches every 60 seconds, the current price is here. For this thing to get any activity, because all these are pending every hour, they just keep, we're just trolling for, looking for a spike like this. Now, if this takes one hour, that's going to be in. It doesn't take out the 110 pip stop, but it fills to 80 pips. And of course, to make this, um, it's not really like what I'm drawing because, you know, we would have this stop way up here. I'm just, so it really stops up here. If I use this as my guide every 10 pips, we should we'd be at 100 pips stop. So a 20 pip stop. So I guess I could put a fake just to make it real. Because uh, we, we, we left, we didn't, we didn't get in with a, a zero stop at the end. We didn't get a 10 pip stop. So I gave it 20 pips on an 8K at the top of the rack. As you come flying up, if you only fill this much, and I'm not even going to try to make, um, so the, I'm going to try to make, okay. It's kind of complicated now. Okay, so market comes down. 20 pips in an hour, you fill this ticket. You've got a big fat, you're risking, but it's a one case, you're risking um, 11 bucks. But now you're buying a 2K and you're risking 22 bucks. And this is a bad ratio. Like this is, you're only, you're only gonna make a few pips. So if this is going to be a an engulfment bot, then your target would be, and of course we could do that too, the greedy bot. You buying 20 pips deep to get out 50 pips above current. Then you're going to put these 10 pips apart. So when I put these half a pip apart, so when the market swoops down, and the sweet spot, I guess, for the script is you get, you've, obviously you fill the whole rack, 
to 90 pips deep you do not go below 110 and you start as you start to retrace you're going to cash out at 40 pips below which means you're only going to make 50 pips on that ticket this is a bad ratio so this is not going to be <clears throat> but the saving grace is that it only lasts for an hour so <clears throat> the scenario needs to be like this it's trolling for this situation where it's not looking for a greedy target because it's willing to just get in 30 pips above and then get and just make 20 pips on a 2k whenever that happens and the frequency of this even happening is related to whether this even makes sense now i can make a greedy bot of this but I haven't done that yet, so I'd have to pause the tape and all that. I could write it here, but I don't people aren't art for people writing scripts, but it would just involve changing the math so that yes, it's it's like a super greedy bot. You're buying twenty pips deep and you're trying to make a hundred pips, you make a hard pip, hundred pip exit. Hard pip, hundred pip stop, and we could do that. So you you have a hundred pip stop with a hundred pip take profit, hard on both sides, and if you do that, I would make this. Um, I guess you'd have to start naming, put, putting in that in the name of the bot, so you can keep track of all these bots. Well, I'm trying to do that myself, but it's not easy because I think to myself, after watching the market rip fucking down to twenty pips and come back up ninety, so in the engulfment bot you're, you're you're gonna buy down here hard stop hard take profit it buys everything down here does not stop you out and goes like this now that does happen but on what <clears throat> how what and how deep are these tickets it doesn't have to be 20 to 90 pips with 110 pips stop And uh, this may, on the Australian dollar run, may never fill at one hour drops because Australian dollars you can't can't drop ten pips. So, uh, or here I guess twenty pips an hour, but then it becomes ten pips an hour if you consider that these are all lingering out there. Well, I mean, so we're going to watch this happen. I'm going to run it. So it's this is the trade plan taken to uh, play back with a fixed. Um, so a fixed pip broker is going to give you kind of less uh, volatility and, uh, but you can you can kind of rest assured that your robot's going to run on a fixed pip broker. That's why you'd have to you have to pay extra spread to run a robot really because most fixed pip brokers are, are taking the bad spread and averaging it over the whole day so you got like one more pip that's why if you write a robot that has a tighter than a 20 pips stop you're spending too much on if it's a two pip spread with a 20 pip stop the robot's acceptable to be 10 percent or less cost of doing business because if you start to take your stops up to 300 pips you know and this robot's running in the background and it's trading the you could trade the guppy you could trade the guppy with a 300 pip stop because if you're willing to risk 30 dollars a trade you got a lot of time you know you could take 10 bucks off the take make 10 dollars risking 30 or you could risk 30 to make 60 and if you trade like this mindful trading girl we just let it go and throw a stupid ass money management bot on it you know why not just do that right because she likes the action of trading and look what I am doing this and I did that and I had this idea and she's adorable but you know if you're really gonna do it in the quant way uh, this would be it right you're gonna treat the market <laughs> as a static price event even the news doesn't matter because did you short just before Corona hit and then go long when the spreads were so fucking wide that crude was below 
the bid was below the market exchange price? Where in the fuck in your life have you ever seen a market quoted? I guess there has been times. Like when, <clears throat> when Desert Storm came, right? Crude oil went berserk, didn't it? These price spikes are not out of the ordinary. But if we're trolling, and I could set this up to troll um, every every 30 minutes we're dropping 30 minute scripts would take the risk down and cut it in half for the exposure of a momentum entry because I'm laying out these tickets and I'm saying you got to come down there on this time so let's test the hard stop and these are really, really bad ratios um, by the way like I said the greedy bot I could uh, whip that up real quick here but uh, maybe uh, you know test it if I, cause you, like in other words if you look at the uh, particular currency pair on a particular data set with a greedy target it'll blow your mind how much money that would make but that would also mean that you launched that robot because it's curve fitted row it's a completely obviously transparent robot there's no other criteria than has an hour gone by and what is the expiration of these tickets you can't get a cleaner approach to just static trading i guess you'd consider it or uh netting the market on a linear grid in this particular robot would be linear grid uh hard stop hard take profit or linear grid engulfment if you're going to do the greedy I would call it the linear grid engulfment because you're saying I'm going to buy 20 pips apart for a day. If I put the expiration at 12 hours, you can imagine the amount of exposure and I, I can actually run that. So once you write the grid of price, then you change the expiration and you have dramatic. Um, you're either going to get rich or blow up the account. If you turn off the sell side when you're doing the expert advisor you can tell it to be a buy only bot which is better than rewriting the script and trying to make this a buy only bot you just tell the ea only take long trades on this particular bot i don't know anybody that has the time to do this stuff but this is an avenue for you know people that um, feel safe in a robot trading for them where they have a scheme uh, I guess it's more of a scheme than a strategy because you're kind of like trying to exploit the randomness of the market because you're not trying to put on your neural net and look at the news and decide what zero hedge and the commitment of traders and all this bullshit because it doesn't when the market spikes you, there's no fucking anybody that ever called the bottom in the corona stock market a wick because it's too fucking big sure there's a one minute chart with a triple bottom inside the very fucking bottom of the nasdaq sell-off but were you there did you babysit the market with your eyes in a, in a clockwork orange dried open stuck watching the market every fucking second well no the robot could but did you roll was your robot tuned to the to the possibility was it throwing tickets out there could it even get a fill did it get locked out because oh the servers are overloaded you think so they, they blame this on and this is why this bullshit it's all bullshit because they blame it on well you know the the exchanges need to be regulated that's what's making the order imbalance you dumb fuck well we need to put a cap president nixon has to be like you're seeing the most dumb fucking economic fuck not ever he put well you know lumber can only cost 130 bucks gas can only cut no we're putting price freezes in 
this kind of dumb shittery that's been going on for years this fuck not here biden it's a it's comedy because all you're doing is making everybody more patriotic you dumb fuck like people are like you know what i'll just sit home and write scripts yeah i'll just sit home i won't even drive my i won't even drive if you don't want me to go to your restaurant i'm gonna learn how to i'm gonna buy a high-end oven at home i'm gonna go back to the fucking frontiersman yeah it'd be like give me a fucking horse and buggy that's where it's going you know that i mean that's what happens like people go back to reading books you can get a paper copy of that so it doesn't get deleted oh wait a minute oh that flash drive isn't as stable as i thought it was yeah right so even the you know and also the same thing with the bitcoin um what if there's a run on bitcoin and people need to cash out is the price going to go up or down gee i don't know tell me what's the you know so maybe it does go down to uh, ten thousand maybe it goes to a million it's at what point are you getting off the train and cashing out into uh, your classic coupons that you could use or your digital currency which is your credit card i mean come on i mean people say is there gonna are they gonna get rid of the dollar well didn't they just get rid of the physical like you had these silver certificates so i remember they had blue seals on them you could have a five dollar there was a time i think maybe 1940 you could walk into a bank and go can i get silver for this please here you go and then one day they're like are you fucking nuts you know I'm a, this stuff's tarnishing and stuff in the back room like dude you know this isn't like a one-horse town anymore now you got so many fuck nuts on the planet there's tons of people alive the indians seem to be nailing it there's more indians plus they're not dumb enough to take a vaccine right so they're like pretty fucking nuts and you know some people have figured out how to fucking they're talented people you know i mean who do you want who do you want uh or that that tribe has specialized in that field like if you go to hollywood who's doing these movies well these these are all families of just you know nepotism there's nothing wrong with it right phil collins son's playing drums there's no um in, in piano on stage you know well why not i mean look at the fucking uh this guy in the sg with the slide i mean he's fucking his dad's a drummer from almond brothers i mean jesus christ um but you don't really have this in the markets because the the player the big heavy hitters that come and go and the machine so what's driving it is the regulation is the structure the forex market has no literally no fucking limit the stock market does the forex market has no limit look at the swiss franc being depegged there is this over-the-counter trading this is like penny stocks so is bitcoin i think that's over the counter i don't think that's right well it's on an exchange but so is um i suppose there's i don't know but that's but that's just a matter of uh saying that it's big enough to for us to use our computers and turn on our, our systems and we'll recognize that right like so it takes a long time for the mob of people to catch up to what's really true but that's always going to happen right because the cutting edge the bleeding edge people um they're like yeah well we could see that coming we duh so i guess in this scenario i'm saying we know the market's gonna fucking go berserk what can we do about it can we set our little robots out there because it's it's that kind of world you know um it's a labor-saving device because it's too much it's if inflation is truly systemic which it looks like it's sector based so until the price of my fish goes beyond ten dollars so right now it's 99 cents a nine dollars 99 cents a pound for I, I suppose this it may not even be real fish it may be just holograms by now but once that goes to 10 i'll be like, oh you know okay it's all right I, I don't care inflation 
I think it depends what you're buying. Like I said, I don't think the price of a microphone is going to go up. So if you're in that business, the sector that you live in, so the people that made a bunch of money, um, uh, it's a double, it's, you know, live by the uh, thing and die by the thing. So this is a pretty fair approach to making money. And I used to think that trading was uh, kind of, uh, not real work <laughs> so that's a big fallacy that you know can I trade for a living it's like well I don't know can you work for a living these are these are kind of weird things to say because it's like could you drill teeth for a living like a dentist uh, I'm trading for a living yeah but you're still working I guess unless you wrote the holy grail of bots and you just let them all go I think I would still have to pick the bot that fits the current scenario I see coming. And of course, we know in Asia it's quiet, so we know that's a guaranteed situation. If we if we tell the robot, which I have another filter, I think I can set on here, it may respond to telling the robot to only launch during Asia. So at the end of the day, I want you to put in this trade plan, which, which right now the one I'm describing literally keeps dropping, irregardless of anything, of, about anything. This would run 24-7, even if there's news coming out. And this one particular robot of this team of robots, this one may get beat up and die. But that's okay, because we could see that coming. We're planning for anything going wrong. Uh, and of course um, it's running on one account then you have another account that has a, a different style of bot because maybe the spreads tighter and it's a floating spread and that robot is designed to exploit the floating spread because now it's looking to make three pips instead of 30 pips so in a perfect world you've got your swing bot taking advantage of maybe it is exploiting it's also a trend bot would be tight stops greedy targets um you've got the spike bot just i want to just make money on the wick all that shit's out there churning probably on a cloud i don't know how many computers you would want to buy or you're going to run all these on one computer and you could that's why you want different brokers so you could have and then you could spend a lot of time working on the comments here, which I haven't done, which is what is the, uh, when I see on a spreadsheet coming in, what is this about? What the, All these could be exported, I suppose, or something. I'm sure there's something that will do that. and Or you could just look at it and say, oh, look at I'm getting filled on these four-hour trades more often than the two hours and there you can assess the performance of the robot through these comments here if you put those out and then as far as the arrows go i like the arrows because i can see where the robots placing the tickets is uh right here red for sell now you can change that or you can just get rid of the but if you get rid of that you have to take the comma gotta take that comma out too because the comma is saying something else is coming and you can change any color you want. Now, on the original limit bots, I made these black, so I knew that was the limit bot. And I would say, oh, it's black by black cell. But I thought, oh, on this one, I'll make it red and blue. So that's the classic colors. Behind the scenes, hard-coded into MetaTrader is red and blue. If you do not, I mean, those are hard-coded into the lines that it draws for the exits you can't change that color apparently you got to dig deep in to make the exit colors uh, different than red or blue so i'll do a quick test here and uh now now that i'm talking about it, i'm curious about the uh the greedy bots you know but it seems like those get churned up. So if you have too tight a stop, you're going to lose because you get kicked out of the trade and you're getting eaten by your commissions and your cost of uh, 
execution of just getting in and out of these trades. So I'm going to do the long and short version of this and see which one makes more money. And then I'm going to do the other robot. So just two robots. I'm going to test. The only difference being one has a hard stop, one has a soft stop. So we're going to go our trusty EA testerator. I got a um, euro dollar, one hour chart. 2 pip spread fixed 2019 I guess I could go well I, I kind of so we could just hunt down our winning data set maybe I don't even know if it tests back that far like I said before the last video I did it was like really does that even go back that far so I compiled this, this is going to be the Hard stop, hard take profit. Will this be the complete retracement to zero about? And I'll let it go visual at first here. We're collecting data. Please hold. We're collecting data. Please. No, it's not even running. It just doesn't run. I did something wrong. I think I got a compiling error or something there. Oh, you know, it, it doesn't exist. Okay, so I deleted it, but um, here's the thing. It technically doesn't exist because it's on the drive hit somewhere else. Let's go for the soft, soft stop. I know that one exists. I renamed it, so really it technically doesn't exist. Okay, so the... Um, I'm going to let this play, play out, see what it looks like visually. So I'm using just a template that came with MetaTrader. Default. Sell only. So I set it to sell only. It's not got a trade on yet. It's not doing too good there, but... Uh, we're getting some fills, right? Okay, I speed it up. But you see the idea there. It's going to, anytime the market goes up, and it's got to go up 90 pips. This is the euro dollar. I'm sorry, this is the dollar yen. Uh, does it ever happen? Let's see. Okay, so it's kind of uh, getting its ass kicked. It's sell only, though. We'll try the buy side in a minute. But it has its, it has its, um, and then you see how Martingale's in. So here's the 8K getting filled down here. Now it's getting its ass kicked. See? Uh, but it's in there for the swing. Now let's go for the greedy bot. Same data set. We're selling only 146 trades. We're selling only. I go for the same idea, one hour exposures here. I mean, hardly trading. This is three years of data, and it's dropping these tickets every, you know, it's a ridiculous trade plan in a way, right? I think I screwed that up. It's not running. I put something bad in here. Okay, wait a second. I put some bad numbers in here somehow. 146 trades. Um, lost all about uh, 200 bucks there. Now I'm going to put the greedy bot on. Sell only. Okay, this is... I'll just go to the end of the story. So let's see if we make money. We're now we're trading uh, for the big, for the big retracement. Better ratios. Doing better, right? It's doing better. 
selling only. Oh, but then see, it takes a fall. So it'll have um, these nice runs. Let's see, amount of trades. So it looks like it's doing well, and then we just change the currency. So now we're just going to hunt for the best fit as far as the market. Still running sell only. So same, uh, different currency, same time period. It's getting more trades. Um, so whether it finishes on the upside of this test or the downside. Oh, see, it got clobbered. So here's where it, it martingaled into the short side. And if you opened your account on this day, so I think we can tell that if we launch the robot here, and this might be that bad data set. That looks pretty ridiculous. But just a monster fill. And then it's, if you open your account on this day and cash out here, you'd say, yeah, that's really doing good. That's an amazing bot. If you got in here, every time it plunges, it's filling that almost the 8K. Like, you know, you're filling the 8K here, which means the market has moved. Statistically, it has moved more than X pips, but this could be bad, bad data. Or maybe that's a news event. So if you hear the plunge, um, you know, Martin Gale's in here and cashes out. Now let me set a hard, um, greedy target. So this would be rename the script to, I'll just call it engulf, so I know what the strategy or the the end goal of the whole ticket rack fell. And if we put a money management bot on top of this. Maybe we could um, do a little bit better, but then of course you're not, you're not going to realize that idea of buying a whole bunch and then riding it up right for the cash out here, like just loading the wagon here on this plunge. Just for fun, before I do that, let me just run this on the British pound and probably blow it up, right? So I can almost tell you that if I, okay, the guppy doesn't give you a two pip spread. Let's Let's make it a realistic spread. Five pips on the guppy, same robot on your mark. It's, sick. I'm, it's gonna blow it, it's gonna annihilate it, I think, but I could be wrong based on how it's kind of it. And I'm only on, I'm only selling, selling only, by the way. It's, it's good, doing good out of the gate. It's a genius out of the gate. Let me fast forward. Okay, it has some brilliant moves, but the market's too deep for this thing. You know, we could conceivably blow up the account now. Not just trade, kind of not so good. We, I think we could destroy the account here. If I make it, if I make it uh, bi-directional, I bet I'll still blow up the account. Long and short. Same, uh, let me see. We now we should get more trades out of a long and short uh, 920 trades. Maybe we should have been a buyer, but maybe the volatility is too much. It wouldn't even have mattered if we were trying to buy um, a wick or a dip because it's just gonna blow the fucking thing up, you know. I had a nice streak there, it's buying and selling. It's kind of, it's not blowing it up as bad because it's offsetting. Now it's a completely unbiased robot here. It keeps buying and selling. So if you if you um, 
redesign the ticket so that it buys on a 50 pip grid or a 40 pip grid or a 30 pip grid it's probably going to make a lot of money <laughs> if it gets the direction right or the the order type because the you know I just if i put this for buy only i'm wondering if buy only is going to even save it because on the sell only it got destroyed and this is a bad ratio bot by the way i mean really i'm really trying to blow up the account because the uh so here's log only still the same problem uh too much volatility and bad ratio so i'm going to save this one as the engulfment bot rewrite this one here and maybe if i came back to the uh even the guppy here it would it would work so this is going to be the one that i rewrite come up here and modify i'm going to start name doing numbers instead of names so i keep i just going to write really fast and just this will be a number two save as uh, number two I, I don't know how long these names can get but i want this to jump out and i'll put eng friend golf and so or english if you want like let's go super um super greedy and try to make uh 90 uh, how about um 50 pips so we'll be making uh, a little bit better than break even to try to make 50 pips on the retracement and we'll do a uh, buy and sell version so it'll be a wick to wick and maybe it's not going to be as good as as picking the direction for a curve fitted robot but this would be a more um smoother um equity curve it would look less brilliant okay we're going to 500 All right, so this should be clear out these zeros. I should have made that a double zero. Now that I can barely hit it. This will make a considerable amount of money under the right trading conditions. Get my cursor on the edge of that zero. Okay, so compile this one. Load it into the tester rater. The last robot was getting uh, clobbered on the guppy. So I'll just leave it on the guppy because sometimes the market might retrace up in there. We're missing out on profits possibly. 1200 trades eh, not down too bad it's going to be our golf bot put this puppy in here start it we had 1200 trades last time we're going to skip to the end of the story big ass targets on this puppy doing much better buying and selling look at it's brilliantly filling down here can it still blow up yeah and it'll blow up real hard 
So if you come in with a money management bot on this, see how this is like, what's going on here? On the guppy, I can make money because I built a, it's buying, it's martingaling in. These tickets only last for an hour. Now, just for kicks, I'm gonna mess, I'm gonna change this to. And here's where I, I guess you could say, oh, I'm onto a winning bot. Let's see, save as the 30 minute version. So, in here, I'm gonna say every hour we're gonna drop. Now I'm gonna make it actually less risky, but it'll make less money. But it'll it, it if I have another. So I have a half hour version and a, half, a one hour version running out there on two different instruments that roughly have the same volatility. And I, don't forget, I picked a bad spread of five pips on this because there's no delta for the stop entry. These are limit entries. Let's make this M30 to be congruent with the name of the script. And I'll know, okay, you know, break out the M30 because the market's really moving twice as fast. That makes a difference put m30 in here compile it and now you've got your first core of bots and there is a subtle difference between these two bots now if you want to statistically do that we have 750 okay sure if you open your account here this is the this is the part that's true if you opened your account here, you just blew up your fucking account, right? So why people want to back test over a bunch of time in here? It's not setting the world on fire, although you are making money. Even though you actually you started with ten grand, so you can't see. I think you got clobbered in the beginning here somewhere. But look at this thing just go fucking full martingale, and this is probably a news event. The beauty of this system is that look how it just got filled on that 8k out of nowhere and the market just wicked now this could be the news so that's kind of weird on the 30 minute version we're going to run the 30 minute version we should get about half as many trades i'm thinking about i like to guess maybe 400 trades so this always is um proof that Sure, if you put in a grid of limits like this with a really greedy target, you still have to, I think this is four years of data, you still got to wait for that trade in if you go into a losing streak. If you open the account during a losing streak or just treading water, apparently this made money because um overall this is like the best winning streak here and it looks like it did a fill where it was able to spike down and something weird about the way it's not filling the tickets in between so i gotta look into that and maybe it's just the bad data i'm using every tick so let's pop in the 30 minute version. Let's see what this plays like. But you could be here for days, you know. I mean, this in the future is unwritten, so you're just kind of saying, well, the market moves like 100 bips a day on average, typically. So I have this for. Oh, I'm missing a leg. That's a problem. I, I did something wrong in the code there. Because we're not picking up the other side of the trade here. Let me go for a buy only. There's something wrong with my sell side. I fucked up the code somewhere. But it was doing pretty good, actually, because of my fuck up. Oh, it is buy only, but why am I... Oh, wait. How am I getting a... That's right. Okay, I'm a buy only. I, I'm just not used to looking at the... I thought I was putting elements above there. We're not getting something's not right there. <laughs> Anyways, this, this is the hard part. Something's not filling on that. I'm telling it to buy only. That's right. 
Oh, I see the fuck up. Okay, so here's the problem. Uh, this has to be um, a positive. It's got to be a positive number. It's not even filling. This has to. So actually what I'm doing is I'm still doing the same trade. But I put a greedy target at the top. So it's only filling the bottom because I fucked up. This is a negative. Here's the problem with script writing is that. Uh, so what it's really doing is it's just buying the tail end. It's getting in super deep. That's why it's only filling on the bottom of that rack, which means because it's the guppy and it can plunge so fucking far so fast that, yeah. You're only buying down here because there's no way you're going to take profits. You'll make 10 pips here. You'll make this. You'll make that's why it makes that money there. It's scalping off the bottom. So I kind of screwed that up because the same thing on the top. Actually, this thing's been fucked up. If this is at zero, it doesn't matter whether this is a negative or a positive, but it matters now. It's hard to see it because I had to change the colors just so I could see the numbers. So here's the thing. Because um, I was kind of figuring out why all, all of a sudden these ought to be set to positive now. Another grueling process of. I, I'm using a jumbo cursor, so it's really like not not really too friendly. To, I can't see the exact drop. Oof. I'm just trying to be convenient. It's not working. Here I put in a fucking two. I just do it old school here. Because you got to hit the shift key to hit plus. I don't have my uh, plus set up on like. I need a. I don't write scripts. Uh, once I write these, that's why I do drops. So this is um. This would be a double click script if it wasn't in the robot. This could be a, this could be a double click. So you can take this code. And copy this over. And just make a double click out of that and drop it yourself uh, with the expiration. So, if you have a tablet, instead of running a robot, you could just double click and drop this. That's another option. So, it's like a bottomless pit. So, we fixed that problem. We want to get out in the greedy buy zone. Pluses. We were only scalping the bottom of that. I'm like, hey, look at this. Is doing overall, it was making money just from doing scalps. Now here, it's apparently proper, and which means the other the other robots fucked up too. But we'll we'll leave that behind. We're just going to keep moving forward because that means the other one that has a soft stop is has the same flaw. I never changed the positive to negative, so I could never sell this stuff um, because I'm not going to double check it. Um, I don't want to be responsible. I don't want somebody suing me because, well, yeah, the robot you saw me is just fucking backwards. I'm, fucking, I'm making money, but it's wrong. Oh, sorry. Um, okay, this will be the greedy engulfment bot. Now this probably will blow it up. Like I said, I can figure that out. Let me make fucking money here. So let's, uh, no, that was the, the, uh, the old bot because I'm running here is the oh that should have compiled let's see that should have fixed it and now we should be making some money right from a buy only standpoint I'll do both directions okay so then now it's going for the big engulfment target it's still not getting my fill I I I, I got the wrong Yeah, something's wrong again, so. 
I fucked that up too. Oh, because this is the 30 minute. I only fixed the 30 minute version, so let's load that. It's just not as easy as it looks to even test this shit. So I know this is the bad bots, the one hour. Like I said, I don't want to look back. I'm just kind of re rewriting a new bot. Just keep going. We'll make a two hour version next. Here's the. Uh, and this is only half hour exposure, so less uh, fills. More greed. So, does it pay to go greedy? Buy only, by the way. So, that's the proper fill. Gets in every ticket, big greedy targets. Man, you gotta, you just gotta have that perfect in this for buy only mode right now. So maybe the sell onlys would have been better. It had a, a brilliant streak at the end, like here. Like this is the kind of fill you'd want to see where it's spiking. It's it's in some kind of trend, um, really doing well here. You can almost tell what the chart would look like based on. Okay, well we're getting in. Always buying, apparently getting filled, and now I'm gonna I'm gonna try to blow it up, and that's just I'm gonna change this without renaming it because I just I'm just tired. Uh, I'm gonna just start fucking around with this, and inevitably this happens. And if that happens, if I set this <laughs> two hours expiration, <laughs> I think we could really see some either blow it up. I think we'll destroy it. Because our exposure is too long, the currency trades too, too volatile for this. Then we don't have to reload it. We can just keep going and just keep track. I get out a piece of paper at this point. Just start writing down these numbers. If you really want to test stuff fast, because you can't keep renaming this shit. We made $58 in fucking four years trading this dumb shit strategy. But now I'm going to make it so that it's going to trade the hell out of it. It's probably going to get, I would say, a thousand trades at least on the long side only. Because I made it last four times as long, the ticket. We should have four times as many trades going. heavy exposure but heavy look at the profit until it blows it up right you know it's gonna you know it's gonna take a hit right it's making so much money these tickets are lasting for two hours at one particular moment on this chart now it's just sell only we still made 360 dollars though at the end of this data set <clears throat> Why is it trading its ass off? Because the expiration. Now let's just go full retard. Since we finally got the fucking plus and minus is proper. We know this is an engulfment bot. Let's set this up for failure or for greed, more greed and make it two hours more expiration. Go back to the test. Way more trades than I thought. 1700 more than a thousand now i think we've got three thousand trades out of this thing possibly get rich possibly blow it up from the long side only on your market set go okay i have to i don't have a notepad but if i was going to really do this and i'm doing a video now so i'm distracted because if i was going to really test this i just have a notepad and go okay give me the give me eight hours give me give me the break out of um a 20 pip grid bot and let it go out there and cook we have no RSI. We have no stochastics. We are static. Limit order trading it. Just show me the show me the stats now. We are seriously going to make money and seriously going to lose money. 
Now, if we could stay above and st still make this uh, six. Okay, see? So, without money management, we were up like real big and down real big. Now, let me turn on the sell side so it'll be like a bracket pot. I'm a 30 minute chart. I don't know if we change that, if it's going to affect it, but we could, you can fuck with that later. But I'm just trying to go for the raw. So this assist, this robot would need a money management because um, you, you could uh, see how it got in really big here in the wrong direction. And it's slowly bleeding out. This is the most brilliant trade it did, whereas it, um, equity is way up, and as the market uh, came up, your equity's up, you haven't cashed out. But if you were to intervene on top of the robot at this moment, you would have cashed out and banked that. Also, I don't know if it's... Uh, I'm not going to do it now, but if I limit the trading window... It's only allowed to trade during news. That's going to help. Now I'm going to... Uh, well, I would rename it if I change the targets. But as I fly through the time frames here, now I'm going to go back to... Uh, oh, now I'm going to make it last for eight hours now. And now I'm going to switch currencies because once we start to get to the possibly blowing up the account, trading in both directions. So how you go with the testing now, 3,000 trades. That's because it went long and short. This is a, a non-directional system. We probably get 5,000 trades if we don't blow a thing up. But this is a lot of... This is like um, three years of data, at least three or four. So here's what it looks like, our trade scheme. It's as fast as it'll play. We go full. Oh, I'm missing some tickets on the top, it looks like. Eight hours exposure. Almost doubles the account, right? Doubles the account, but a little white knuckle down here, right? Now, if I were to cherry pick, now, possibly blow up the account. Almost blew up the account. Why? The expiration of the tickets. Critical. The idea of buying low, selling it. Now, you know what? You're only down five grand. Something's wrong though. Something's fucked up. I'm. I'm. I don't see those top tickets uh, filling. Here, let me just go long only, just to. Something looks weird on the. I'm not very good at this uh, robot shit. So. Manual trading uh, is going to be the best always, but. Uh. 66 100 trades so maybe half as many trades and maybe we don't we were we were we'd flip the account in three years it's about a year and a half in you know we did we was doing good there until we hit a little bit of a speed bump and then now it's long only so this this is uh easier to see right now here we did double the account and we're not getting as churned up in the in the and uh all the spreads right so maybe we, if we go short only, and I'm suspicious of the short only part. Now the drawdown here takes us to not zero because we're not over trading and going long and short, long and short. So, and we end up only down um, 400, uh, 800 bucks. 
So this is the answer for people that do not want to babysit this fucking stuff. And uh, just let me go back to uh, the conservative version of this robot would be to let's just take this over to the uh, euro dollar now. Now we can try it out for size. And uh, I, I'm also going to keep the bad spread so that it would be um, you could run it on a uh, floating spread broker and the big, the bad spreads gonna um, this 50 pip spread during testing is gonna make it so it's more realistic if I set that spread to um, zero pips I bet that I could probably end up making a slight bit of money at the end that's another curiosity I guess this is all uh, curiosity's sake kind of curious though I was to see what happens because uh, that'd be something else I mean that talk about uh, zero cost of doing business not much different I think because I have a hundred pips stop all does pretty well will we end up slightly up though Oof. slightly up at the end of all of that trading in three years of buying only yes you were up 200 bucks so you saved because you did 5800 trades it mattered you know that spread mattered at 5800 trades so there's all kinds of stuff that you can do with this uh this code here to assess uh and if I put this, if I rewrote it so I'm 20 pips apart and I kept my, uh, and I, I dropped that stop down deeper, you can only imagine, right? You could probably make um, more money and maybe only be down in the same data set, only you look like, uh, and that would be fitting it. Also, instead of martingaling in size here, which I did by 8Ks, and I did that so I could see on the, the screen how it's filling. Plus, you know, you, the broker's not going to let you pen tickets for a week. So just let me do something ridiculous here, because I think that's the only point of this. Let me make these tickets last all day. And then I'm going to, so just, I could play with the time frames here and probably make 20 versions of just this. You put D1 in here. And... It's probably going to do like 12,000 trades, something ridiculous, right? And now we could either make 40 grand and then blow up the account. I think that's a possible situation from a buy only standpoint. <laughs> so I, I do this for hours sometimes, usually not in video format. It's not exactly exciting, but you know, I'll, I'll sit down and go, well, you know what? Um, what if we did this? Uh, would this work? And certainly it does work in that one instance. Now these last all day, these tickets. You just made how much money? That this account was at forty grand. But we could still blow it up. Nope. This this exposure here, this means that there's 24 times that bank of tickets. Now we blow up the account. See how that works now? You just, you mean to tell me you made 51 grand trading buy low, sell high, like just this big greedy engulfment. You're 90 pips deep and you're looking to make 120 pips. Yes, you did. But then you're still up though. Look at, I mean, it, okay. You shit your pants when you got the seven hundred twenty dollars in the account when you were at fifty one hundred. Also, you could use this in so many ways to say to yourself, "Yeah, remember that time I kept buying on dips? Tell me about the time, Grandpa. You kept buying on dips. Yeah, I wrote this robot. 
was amazing. Yeah, things are things are hum. Yeah, things are kind of like yeah, we're making money. We're still up in the account. We're still holding twenty grand, and then lo and behold, whoosh, man, that was the best time. Those thousand trades we did was fucking gold. And remember when we spiked down that one time? We got filled real big and cashed out. Yeah, I do remember that. Remember you had those greedy ass targets? I'm like 50 pips. Now, if I if I set that to make 100 pips, I bet I could make, this account would make 70 grand. And then maybe blow it up. That'd be a good, that'd be a fun uh, hobby. Let's guess what the next, uh, how to blow up the account. So let me do it now I'm thinking of it. This is the only time I'm going to rewrite a script here and save as something else. I should call this greedy bot. Let's just call it G, GB, greedy bot. <laughs> we can find it. Now, here I'm just going to do a quick and dirty. Since we have the positive uh, set, let's try to make a hundred fucking, hundred fucking pips from this. Oh, shit. That's why you can never make a zero again. Always make triple zeros. Now let's launch this puppy. I cannot wait to see. I, I bet we could make eighty grand and then blow up the account without a money man. No money management. This is literally the the raw trade plan. You're ninety pips deep. You plunge down ninety pips. You've got a greedy stop. You do have a master stop though. So you're taking. You're making that top ticket profitable the ratios are amazing the the, the the only bad side is you have no uh, so when the market plunges like this 90 pips down 20 pip hard stop on that last ticket but this ticket actually has a so it's a small ticket it's trying to make 100 pips with a 100 pip stop it's break even small ticket as the size goes up the ratios get better then you'd have to find a market to run it in a time frame and you don't have to change any of this 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 whole scheme is Uh, such a niche expertise in that one scenario there is no um since you're standing still waiting for the market to come to you on these tickets that's what it is so um it's just weird it's bizarre because most systems say well um well, we got a small bar. Let's let's trade a breakout. This isn't well, really doing that at all. I guess it's just trading pure wicks. It's like a wick bot. I don't know how to describe it, but compared to what normal systems would do, or the classic uh, moving average crossover, did it crossover? Okay, we're gonna. Are we above the cloud? Let's trade long. Are you an Ikimushu trader? Yeah. Well, I am this week. But next week, I might be actually. Uh, doing an amazing amount of drugs to uh and eating comfort food till i get the way 300 pounds but we're dropping these every 60 seconds they last all i mean every 60 minutes they last all day and we're looking for this total engulfment i mean the ultimate full auction trade ridiculous compile it let's put in the greedy bot let's just let's just do it you know we're going there um we want to see if we can make a hundred grand and then blow up the account <laughs> i don't even know if a broker would let you stack this many tickets but they do delete every 24 hours so it's not like you have to wait a week for the tickets to delete but 
you could probably take off that 20 pip entry. So to make this improve the uh, winning rate, instead of getting in these small tickets, which do actually kind of make money, but now you're going to see this take profit. This blue line crosses over probably really deep in, finally cashes out because your, your equity, um, I'm still in buy only mode. So kind of proof that really direction may not matter. I could do the sell side. If I don't blow this up, we'll, we'll do the sell side. But it's like, uh, I would say, well, because you're, I torture anybody that's still watching the video. But because uh, normally I don't, I do talk to myself uh, when I'm not on video. But I normally don't try to explain myself. So let me just run this. Okay, that, that's still, I mean, if you showed somebody this, they go, oh, you do pretty good. Oh, you could be in the 5 percent. although when you went to $720 here, did you want to start, um, did you want to double up on the whiskey? What, what happened here? I guess we're getting in too tight. Now, this is where you would expand the grid, which I haven't done here. And all these little tweaks, I don't know, for the guy that uh, says he's trading my system, this is, this is the robot of choice for me. Uh, the because this is it this will do it and he he's not a fan of mt4 i don't understand why because this works this does work in real money forward because i've run it with demos and real money and i look at my phone and i see these pending orders and i like i actually ran this with real money on um like five currency pairs i go let's just let it let's just do it and i like look at this fucking trade i would never get into the swiss uh, versus cad or the fucking yen versus cad but this fucking thing's making money based on a five pip spread on a swing trade and i'm like i would never take that trade so that's the point of the robot it's going to do stuff you would never do did i compile so it's ready to go let's load it greedy bot give me the greedy bot please c bot i don't know what that is can't even find it now all right this is uh greedy bot set at uh all day long and the most insane targets trying to get to 100 grand and then blow it up long only oof took a hit now it couldn't get couldn't get past that 50 we need that insane retracement to to get us to 100 grand and then maybe finish up you know not so bad right 80 grand so we're hitting 80 grand because we're, we're saying we're auction traders we're buy we buy only I set the spreads at zero, though. So to be fair, let me see. Now we're about to blow it up. And here's where people be like, you were doing so good. What happened? Now the sell side of the spot. Like I said, at the end of the day, we could still be at 50 grand. Okay, we're at 34. Now, the heartbreaker is we're, we have this streak that's just fucking amazing. We're cashing out. We're making the full engulfment from a buy only standpoint. Because I know something's wrong with the sell side. Let me test that again. Maybe it's just a visual charting fluke. This thing put on 11,000 fucking trades. At one point, we were almost at 80 grand on this account that's what i'm trading though i'm trying to do what this robot's doing it's just it's running my scripts objectively every day if on another ro another computer you've got the money management running or another ea inside the t inside the thing you're not going to make as much money because maybe it gets this has no stop no trailing stop i don't know there's so there's a robot out there that does i think it's free it's on mt4 it does eight styles of trailing stops so 
the style of your stop matters. Everything fucking matters. I'm going to put the spread back to a bad spread. This will probably cost me. Well, we could do it. 11,000 trades is going to cost me at least. Eight grand. We'll probably end up with 28. Twenty eight thousand dollars. Just by setting the spread to five. So we were thirty four thousand, about thirty we're above thirty thousand, we'd be below thirty thousand at the end of the at the end of the story. At the end of this one sample set, don't forget we only had one if we change the currency or anything we may not make our we know probably won't even get near eighty grand here either. But since my target is a hundred pips so we're climaxing around 70 grand now. It's costing us about three grand for a five pip spread as opposed to a zero pip spread. So we, we, we're two grand shy on the top. We saw 80 grand on the top of the scale there. And we're going to come in under 30,000, I think, by the end of this uh, trade set. And uh, you just kind of have, a, <clears throat> you try to test yourself to see if you can guess. Okay, not too bad. Didn't really see it too much because a 100 pip target, come on, 100 pip stop, 100 pip target, didn't really affect it. But it, I thought, well, the trading, the ones that we did get stopped out of, okay, well, it doesn't matter. I mean, with a 100 pip stop, a 5 pip spread. Now, if I set the spread at 20 pips, yeah, you're going to see it cut into this style of trading on this particular So let's go to another currency. That is a highly volatile currency. That is 11,000 trades. $33,000 on a $10,000 account trading in both directions. Let me double check that sell side. That looks right. I keep forgetting the targets are in the middle of that. Let's just put it on the good old pound, which is one step away, I'd say, volatility-wise, typically. Maybe we get uh, 7,000 trades. 8,000 trades, I'm going to estimate here. Keeping everything the same, comparing apples to apples. Uh-oh, I got some bad data there. I don't know what the hell. That's like my bad data to me. That could be the election, though. See, something's wrong there. That can't be right. So there's bad data. No, something's wrong there. So that's a big problem here. Not clean data. I'm going to go euro dollar. I bet there's only 4,000 trades on the euro, but they're there all day, you know. Um, 20 pips to 90 pips deep, 10 pips apart with 100 pip stop, 100 pip take profit. You know, this is... Uh, aggressive trading as aggressive as you'll ever get looks like more bad data <clears throat> i mean i just it's so fucked up here let me go for the cad it's just garbage data i, I can't believe that this <laughs> trading that that bad let's go for the yen it's a shit broker. Their data's shit. So you have to... That's the other thing is... Uh, every broker has different data sets, obviously. I've taken it to another broker, and I'm like, oh, fucking does great here. And the history data is all corrupt. It's corrupt here. Uh, I, if I'm winning, it's not, right? <laughs> but no, here's something... There's something wrong there, maybe. Hmm. Well, this looks more realistic. Okay, once again, we're able to make that. Um, the equity's up, but we haven't cashed out. Now it's cashing out. Okay, this is proper data. That's how it should look, right? On a normal market. So apparently, that we 
we, we know that, that the yen data is good here on this broker just for testing now let's see if we can make more money than we did on the guppy so it is the yen and maybe because of the way the yen's behaving it, it does well on the yen all the yen pairs you know and maybe you could run it on the yen pairs and so um <clears throat> maybe it's just a good fit you know it's really getting the good fit here so he actually closed it a little bit more uh, profitable and at the end here it kind of looked like well you know what um a top become a bottom in equity you can't beat that right like this top becomes a bottom in equity and uh looks like maybe it could st but it didn't hit that amazing climax but the fills you know and then i'm not going to do it now but you can only imagine that if we set this to uh by 20 pips apart with 180 pips stop to make 200 pips this would be the ultimate retracement swing bot that you would just let it go and maybe it only fills like once a week but if the tickets are stacked up in there when it fills it fills i mean it is like this is bi-directional right here so you're seeing that equity um so it's holding on to a winning hedge i suspect at this point in the trading that's why you see the equity go below and then when you finally you're cashing out taking those 100 pips off the table but your equity is literally on fire if you were to get out of that you are you just made like 20 grand in um, because of your accumulation of all this and this is by direction we don't know if that was a long trade or a short trade yeah i guess uh, like i said that you could go for hours testing this and uh you could take this one currency we have four thousand trades here i suspect that that was maybe the euro trade but that was corrupt data and we're gonna tell this a robot to buy only because they want to see what the cause probably was for that uh, equity situation now maybe we get about uh, half as many trades now and we might even make more money so we end up with 38 grand high watermarks 58 with 4,000 trades I can hardly remember that but different every time I should just make that uh, long only now um, certainly less commissions because we only trade in one direction So if it drops below 18,000, I'd kind of be disappointed. Because there's that spike in equity. So it's, it is better to just trade in one direction. Because now this is cashing out. Now as long as we don't, as long as we don't drop below 30,000, I think it's... Uh, you might be able to make 80,000 in this one particular um, time frame we selected for testing. Huh. Man, that thing's just trading its ass off. Not so much, so not really, not much of a difference really. Maybe there's no hotkeys for changing the settings on that. It's still the same uh, situation. Make sure it's trading uh, sell only here. Oh, no trades. Oh, well, maybe I do have corrupt uh, something there. It's not putting any trades on, so. I must have fucked up the sell side of that. Yeah, so if I put a wrong, one wrong number in there, 
which I might have because I blew through that. Uh, it's the greedy bot. I might have thrown in a bad number. Oh, yeah. I see what I did wrong. Okay. So we got to put minus on this. Because we're trying to make 100 pips off. So that's why it's only it's only trading one direction anyway. So here's another big flaw. That has to be set to uh, minuses. At least that's easy to edit because there's only one... Uh, there's only one minus available here. We don't have to hit the shift key. Yeah, I don't know if... Um, I wish there was a... Uh, faster way to edit these. So, this is going to be crazy greedy um, exit there. So the sell side's not working on that. Should work now. We went in the greedy bot. We should have to reload it. Sell only. Looking to make those 100 pips. So we're able to make... Um, so just blew it up. Sell side. So apparently... <laughs> unless you bought this market... You're destroyed. If you try to sell into that yen... You're done. On the long side, you're a genius. Can the long and the short offset each other? So the long only story is that you hit about 58 grand on the top side. And this, this means that you should have had orders in that were deeper because uh, it looks like uh, that AK, um, you could have bought really deep into the market there and even made more money. Because if it keeps hitting that AK, it means it's buying 90 pips deep. I mean, the expiration is all day long. It's dropping tickets every hour, so that's going to affect it. I'm going to do a buy and sell now that I fixed the DM uh, positive negatives again. I must have copied the plus sign. When I did the copy, I... So what happened was I accidentally said copy this, and I copied the plus and the number when I did my fast copy. I didn't realize it. So trying to use the hotkeys to copy creates problems. Haste makes waste, as they say. I think that's what I did wrong. So this will be uh, symmetrical now, again, back to buy and sell. So I went for the greedy body kind of. So everything, everything will actually take profits are really going to be way beyond on the other side of the... Is the losing side going to destroy the buying side because it made so much money on the buying side or is this going to smooth out the equity? That That's the uh, question. So if we don't have a, a directional buy, so it blew up the account. The short side was too brutal. So it's really a... I'll go back to the guppy. Apparently this data is okay. I don't know why. Um, somebody said there's data you can get that's clean data. So here again, we're buying and selling. 
it's just not working. So the short set on here is going to destroy it. I don't think I did anything wrong in here, though. Um, we have a hundred pips stop to make a hundred pips. Yeah, this is the right. So. Now let's cut the frequency of the drop down to every four hours, every 240 minutes, we're going to launch it. Let's see what this comes out to be. So this just destroys it. So now I, I drop the frequency of the drop down. Still expire all day long. Well, let's just test long only. That's all that's working. So now here's going to be less trading and less money, less losses. So probably half as many trades, but that might be the that might be the uh, the way to go because uh, they're not stacking up. We're not we're not duplicating the price as much, so we're gonna make more money because uh, we have a deeper, less risky. Almost hit uh, 70 grand there. Now we could kind of make it back, maybe. Oh, getting hammered there. So something brilliant has to happen near the end of this data. Eh. Not too bad. So if I make this so it only lasts... We only drop every day and uh, every day we're going to drop it. I'm sorry, can't put that in. I'm like 960. Uh, every 12 hours we're going to drop this script and it's going to last all day. Man, look at that losing streak. That's pretty brutal. The buy side's the only thing working, so. No, I don't think we can make 76 grand high watermark on this because probably gonna make 50 grand because we're just not putting enough tickets in really to uh, to make the money, I think. We're dropping every 960 minutes and so instead of uh, but maybe that's maybe that's the winning approach so because if you're putting in uh, it's maybe the more the sweet spot idea. But see now it's it's getting hammered because uh, there's not enough tickets. A lot of trades. Huh. Slightly different. Now now it's a test to make sure that. Uh, this part's working. I'm going to put this back to H4, which is a very conservative situation. We got 11,000 trades out of that. So now let's see what we get out of this guy.
maybe hmm. I have like four thousand trades now. The expiration is very short. Less risk, of course, now. Less trades. Less chance to hit the high water marks of 70 grand. But it's doing okay. So, this is what you expect. Okay, you know, it's up, but it didn't make a bunch of money, but it also didn't get a drawdown that would scare the shit out of you. Just by changing the expiration time on the tickets, how it affects your equity over this little sample set of time. I just don't trust this data. Like, I could go back to 1994. I don't even know if there's data back there, but it's not going to make a difference in this robot for some reason. It just doesn't matter what data set. It only has a... Apparently, you're forced to trade a certain data set. Dominion uh, is the where my source of data. I get all my data from the Internet right out of Dominion... Uh, voting system see they send me these updates uh, 33,000 3300 trades and uh, now we're going to go back to 1920 and test this thing for all the data that's ever been that ever was that ever could be trades you can't even imagine happened and didn't happen stuff you wished could happen that did happen never happened and on and on right What did I just change on that? Four hours. Yeah, some, so this is the... Uh, the same results... Same amount of trades. It just doesn't seem to fucking matter. Let me see if I pick a, a narrower time slot. We're just going to go back a little bit. I just, I just can't believe the data is that. But of course, you know, I guess you're not. They want you to trade, not test robots at their broker. Okay, this is more um, cleaner data, I suppose. Shorter testing period. Thirty-three thousand, thirty-three hundred trades was the last uh, sample. Same amount of trades. So I don't get. I don't get. I don't get. You know, it doesn't seem to matter. Um, so I don't know if anybody explained that to me, but the concept is true. As I change the settings, uh, it changes it. Here, let's do it today. Maybe I'm just not doing this right. Like I said, this is not what I'm, I'm not good at testing, but I am good at trading. And blowing up accounts is what I specialize in. But so June. Maybe I got to reload the robot. Maybe I just had to refresh it. Maybe there's cash in here that needs to be refreshed. I don't know. Right? Because if I got um, from June, I guess still the same amount of trades, then we got a problem. Now this looks more realistic. So here we're almost blowing up the account. Right? This was not enough data. It's still trading. Yeah. Does anybody does anybody know anything? I don't speak Russian, so I can't figure out. MT4, what it... 
I guess it's playing back all the trades I did, but it's already done. But it, it got killed. Let's just go to visual mode. I mean, get rid of visual mode because... I'm going to go one hour chart. And I'm going to just walk back a little bit. It's like you're you're blind. You cannot see the good data from the bad data here. You just have to keep testing it. And it says... Okay, here we go. I only went back like a week more. So it was brilliant for a while. We're staying above our original equity. So we're up $400. So this sampling here um, is probably better data to have a small that you know what's going on. Plus, you probably look at the chart and see, oh, you know. So I'm going to go back to my daily 24-hour drop. These last for 24 hours now. Compile that, buy only, then 3,600 trades. More trades than we went back when then we went back deeper. It doesn't make sense, but I find that problem all the time with MetaTrader uh, strategy testers that it's going to put more trades on with less data because apparently it's going to see more detail. I don't know. Oh, the buffer is only so big, and maybe my history settings need to be changed. Like I said, I really don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. So if I go to the um, in options. But this is for charts. How, how much history? So maybe this is affecting it. Max bars. Maybe that's affecting it. I don't know what the robot's using for its test. Blew up the account. Fucking blew up the account. Damn it, I told you, do not blow up the account. Because I made the tickets last all day. Oof. Yeah. We'll make them last for one hour. H1. Compile. Now this would be a low risk, low profitable system. I guarantee this will not make much money, but it won't blow up the account because the tickets only last for an hour and they go 90 pips deep. The target's unrealistic, although we could hit it, right? And we do on occasion. And it's done trading. And it made money. This is the robot that would trade for me because I'm not going to let the robot trade a four hour drop I can do that but when it comes down to the one hour drops I mean the expiration of one hour which means you've got to keep dropping that now the unique thing here is that this one hour expiration rack of tickets is being dropped every 960 minutes if I drop every 15 minutes the script, this should affect it. 833 trades, very small sample set. What really matters because I'm only going to, this thing's going to just make money every week, in my opinion, or my, in my view, well, how I'm doing it is that I'm going to say, let's get in this zone here. You know, let's do this trade. So. I got, um, all right, so we got the 15 minutes, but the ticket lasts for an hour. This is going to be four. If the market's moving fast, it's going to put in these different prices. Otherwise, it's going to stack up and very, very uh, sm small fluctuations every 15 minutes is going to make this a little too duplicating. It's just kind of increasing the size now because unless the market's screaming down, you're not going to get in any diversification on entry price. You don't get any spectrum entry. You end up getting filled over and over again. It possibly 
in the worst trade of your life. So this will be the, also, you should see this show up. Although we made 11,000, as we made it to 11,000, we made 150 bucks here by uh, just uh, letting this thing play out. Of course, at one moment we were up here, right? And this is the heartbreakers. That it's, oh, God, we're doing so good. What happened? And look, at we're not getting filled on that deep ticket, which means we have the perfect si the perfect depth of market because with the, the size of the uh, the eight Ks are filling when we're down ninety pips uh, in an hour, but dropping every four hours. And I don't you know when the the start time of the drop. I think it was maybe five. <laughs> the clock starts ticking in Asia, and of course this does not since there's no stop entry. We're not worried about. The spread i got the spread still set at five which is bad so i changed that we compile it we come back to the proving grounds hit the button 830 we should have a ton of trades more than a thousand trades now possibility of blowing up the account we're getting very rich So they're stacking up in there. Every 15 minutes we're dropping these tickets. Jeez, I don't know. S same stats, so that's not working. Maybe have to be in the 15 minute chart. This will run on the five minute chart, this robot. And that's another thing, the shorter the data, <clears throat> the smaller the time frame we can trade. Okay, so that, that's the problem there is that the five minute chart, maybe we have to run it on the one minute chart. If we're going to drop the tickets every 15 minutes, you can't be on the 16 minute chart. This robot will run on the one minute chart, a lot of robots won't. Every tick on the one minute chart. So now I'm just going to go to some old robots that I wrote that I know that are good because writing this stuff on the fly like this can make a lot of errors. 627 trades. Let me just throw in some ridiculous robot here. Some bullshit I wrote. This is going to be a 50 to 100 pip entry. Buy only, I think, still. Although I might have to change that because when I load, ro load a new robot, I think it goes long and short on default. No, long only. Anyways, that's... Uh, and of course, that is the Let's try the Swiss franc here. Maybe the data is okay in Swiss franc. That looks that looks conceivable. Like news event here, and it's not a lot of days of data. Once again, a very shallow market. Uh, the Swiss franc is like watching paint dry. Australian dollar, I'd say the same thing. You're just not going to get. There's no drama there. There's no bunch of. There's not a bunch of pips. Uh, not very satisfying. If you want to, that's why people trade these big giant uh, swing trading markets. Euro dollar. I think this data is corrupt. Maybe not this. I'm. A, I have a sweet, uh, nice piece of data here. Maybe. No. Once again. So this takes time. All this dicking around, looking for the holy grail takes time. And then, fuck, just, you know, hey, look at the market's down by. But I do think for having the convenience of the robot, and of course I'm going to, if I do run <coughs> buy limits, I could say, well, you know, let's just buy every 10 pips for the next four hours. I think tonight um, <coughs> we're going to sell off, and I want to get in some good prices. 
<clears throat> randomly and based on if the market's really going down uh, fast there, the robot's doing something very calculated. It constantly throws orders 20 pips deep. It's doing a very specific task where when I do it, I look and I think, yeah, this looks like a good plot spot here. Or maybe you have a Fibonacci extension that's uh, 4618, way, way, way deep in the market. And, okay, well, I'm going to put some cluster in there. And that turns out to be the winning trade. As you can see, this robot, even though it's kind of hard to test stuff, but you can see, oh, you know, if it does this, then that. And then if you can, if you can build this position, look at the equity drop here as it loads the wagon, you know. Once again, this uh, is another. So the big greedy bot with the right amount of pips per week, the right amount of tickets, it's a genius. But it typically gives back a percentage. Um, and there is no money management on any of these things I've just done zero other than the fact that i'm managing the target don't even move that target don't move that stop as time marches on the the, the trade plan has played out or it hasn't i don't think in the real world i would let a robot like these fuck nuts that run the government take over and go on a fucking <clears throat> autopilot lockdown well you know because Look, I stubbed my toe, you know, and um, if you don't wear shoes, then I'm going to end up stubbing my toe. Everybody wears shoes because I'm mandating shoes for everybody because I've been stubbing my toes, you know. People, when I, when I walk outside, I stub my toe. Why is that? Because nobody else is wearing shoes. Oh, that, I got you. Gotcha. That makes total sense. So, that's the long and short of it. Oh, I got to put my disclaimer in. Yeah, I take no responsibility for any of the fake trading I've done on this strategy tester. <laughs> but I do, I do want to try to... Um, having a, a trading assistant like this in some regard but i wouldn't lean on i wouldn't put my whole world into what ryan brown's trying to do is say i'm gonna build robots and sit back cross my arms yeah until corona comes right until the rogue wave right until the the obliteration of what's considered to be normal and don't forget if bitcoin ever does get uh, take out the highs, all time highs, and goes up 20 grand and then pulls back and never goes up any higher. The moment it takes out uh, the, the all time highs, if at that point the uh, President of the United States is resigning and handing the keys to, there is volatility and order imbalances that have just been, as time marches on. The chance for a uh, like a standing wave where everything it's it's worse than a rogue wave like all the waves climax at once and you get a um, what we call super wave or a uh, that's how you get the um, the waves that the guys go surfing on because it's wave upon wave and then they just get to a certain point. And you can see it rising in the sea there. And you're like, oh, this is going to be a good wave. I can tell because the undertow meets the overtow. And it just rises. And then it starts to curl. And then, you know, I used to watch these guys in Hawaii. These old films of guys inside the wave. Are you fucking nuts? But that's, you have to be that good at trading that you can say, oh, wow. Now, for somebody that sits on the sidelines their whole life isn't going to be able to step into a trade that they might see now i was calling out these trades about corona and shit saying 
yeah, you probably have to buy here, even though you psychologically couldn't even, if you read the headlines of the news, there's no way on earth any any so-called, what this is separates the risk takers from the mask wearers. If you're wearing a fucking mask, do not fucking trade Forex. I'm just going to tell you straight out. If you today you're wearing a mask, you shouldn't be trading. You shouldn't be risking anything because you can't handle risk. I would rather lick a doorknob than wear a mask. I'd go into any public building and lick the fucking railing. And I would live, I fucking guarantee you. Okay, now maybe, I don't, maybe cough up a hairball. I don't know. But so far, God fucking damn it, I'm not, I haven't been, I haven't had the flu, maybe because I just haven't. And maybe now I'm going to die of cancer because I just said, but I've not had the fucking flu in fucking five years. If I feel anything coming on, I just take a fucking nap. I go, dude, you are fucking at your limit. Now, granted, I don't weigh 500 pounds. Granted, I'm not smoking meth. Well, not every hour. Um, no, but some people, you look at the guy from the Rolling Fucking Stones. The drummer dies who's doing an aerobic exercise. The fucking guitarist is still alive. Motherfucker fell out of a tree on heroin. Explain that. Where's the algorithm for this motherfucker being alive? But, you know, maybe he's on blood transfusions. Maybe he's getting that, uh, Alex Jones is, you know, would say he's using the, the baby's uh, blood, embryonic blood transfusions. <laughs> that's all rabbit hole, right? But that's all based on fear and, like, trying to explain what's going on. I don't know if any of that helps, but anyways, two hours, I got to go. So, <laughs> good luck. Good luck, fucking... It's unraveling now, so when when the, when the Brits say you're out of your fucking mind on this fucking shit, and so the fastest people to wake up are the Brits. You know, you see, you gotta love Churchill. Like this guy, so maybe it's genetic, right? These fuckers are just intrepid. They've been, had the shit beat out of them. They're like the you can't get more. The, the shame of the Titanic. You talk about bureaucracy fuck nuttery. All you have to do is go back in anywhere in history and go, what's the biggest fuck up you can think of? Well, Titanic would be up there, right? So we have a Titanic. It's always Titanic economically. But the relief valve is that people go to here, they go to there, they buy this, they buy that. You really think, you really think crude oil is going to keep fucking going up? Dude, where's the demand? Where's the other side of the equation? Oh, it's the end of the world by gold. Really? What? Explain to me. Fundamentally, what is what is going on here? If that's true, well, fucking a. It's already priced into the market. Who's gonna if the if the trucks aren't running? Well, the price of gas goes down, or at least diesel. It ebbs and flows. It's ranging eighty percent of the time. There's no end of the world. There's no... It spikes all over. Some shit's cheap. Well, the chip crisis. Dude, you don't need a fucking 8 nanometer chip. Break out some old fucking MT4 runs on a goddamn 386. Windows XP. Just don't let it on the internet. Just keep that thing talking to the fucking broker only. But you don't need all this shit. The whole world is so fucking wealthy that they can entertain shit like global warming or climate change or these are fucking fictitious fuck nuttery ideas floating in midair that people are making into some real thing. Are you fucking nuts? It only shows the decadence and the absolute elitism of everybody on the planet is so wealthy that they can afford to buy a fucking car that costs as much as a home that has fucking GPS. It's got shit the government used to have only. 
night vision, this fucking, that fucking. I'm hearing ads for the Samsung QLED. This screen's so good, you don't even need to live in the real world. I guess I've gone beyond the trading thing, so the last part of this is just anger, but what in the fuck? And then you're going to turn around and tell me the other shit? you got a booster every five and a half months. You're at this point, it, it's beyond like, how is any fucking and, like, if I see one more motherfucker, I'm just saying, if you're listening with a mask on, turn off the video right now. You don't deserve to hear me speak without a mask. Because if I hear one more motherfucker step up to the mic and I'm mean, unfortunately I have to use something. If you hear this fucker come up to the, I'm going to use a terry cloth. Yeah, I'd like to talk about what happened to me when I was, uh, uh, yeah, I was, uh, I'm wearing a mask right now because I, I protect myself very much with this mask right now. I, 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 everybody can understand what I said. I guess if I strain, I can really understand what you're saying, but there's just no, there's not enough semblance for me to understand what the fuck you're saying. So I'm just going into fucking lockdown, which I've been in my whole life. That's why I'm on, I'm on uh, the internet because it's the ultimate for lockdown artists. <laughs> it's just like or people that are reclusive. If you're up in a, and you know if you're away from everybody, <laughs> maybe that's why I haven't got sick ever. That this is the survival of the, um, the fringe, off the grid. I'm not playing that shit. I don't need that shit. I don't need this. I'm not, I don't need gas. I have electricity. I have electric heat. Why are you running gas? Well, it's cheaper. It's convenient. Dude, you could blow up your fucking house. What's to prevent you from leaving the gas on? That's liability. There's efficient electricity. Well, it's coal burning. Hey, you fucking retarded. You think that natural gas wasn't processed by an electrical pump like, how do you fucking think this shit works i can't take it anymore but nature cures this shit the darwinian theory so you take the vaccine and you die great we're gonna clean house the goobers the natural selection darwin rules in the markets too it kicks you out of that trade the winning trade survives the giant deep swing trader guy that has the 300 pips stop looking to make 500 pips a month. In that market, he's king. In the this, um, of course, and people are dying, don't forget, right? Those are the lucky people right now. I think anybody that is dying is, oh my God, this is so unbearable. Kill me now. So don't, don't even grief for the dead they are the luckiest people on the planet right now i envy the dead i was going to kill myself and i thought this is too much work and i just i'm not ready to bail because <laughs> i thought i'm just too hopeful too optimistic but i thought gosh you know if you do that People say that's a cowardly. I go, that's the bravest thing you could possibly do is go, no, nope, that's it. So these people that are walking off the job because they won't, they don't want to be a guinea pig. So they go, oh, I, you know, I'm out. That's the threshold for me. When you start to wreck them, when you start to force enemas, <laughs> force me to do coffee enemas in the morning to keep me awake for an entry on the uh, opening of the Dow Jones, I'm not up for that. I'm not taking a forced enema coffee, a caffeine. I'm not. No, but you're going to because we need more productivity out of you. I'm surprised the fuck nuts haven't said, well, you know, everybody's had a break and they've gotten a, uh, you know, a, what would they call it, a uh, bonus check or a, uh, a little bit of a payment for the 15 days of flattening the curve. So here's a little bit of compensation. But then in the end, what? so 
what is and then of course you have to come down to the ultimate question is what is the meaning of life what is the point right you you work so hard and then you're diligent but the the criminals are winning and i guess people feel like that in forex because they're like oh all the, the bankers and the the big boys and the um market makers are tricking me and making me want to buy and running the market up and i start buying thinking it's going to go up and damn it they keep tricking me and so the victimhood game spills in i noticed that right right when i saw forex i thought well the same mask wearers are trading forex looking for safety security prosperity investments things that don't go wrong I want the smart money trade. These are just as ridiculous as climate change, you know. Um, everything, since we think in these groups, you know, these groups, this group of people is getting their ass kicked. No, we're individuals. And if you do live um, by yourself, you'll notice it even more that you're by yourself. You're on your own. There's no fucking safety net. There is no suicide hotline that gives a fuck. There is nobody that gives a fuck more than you. These fucking asshole bureaucrats don't give a fuck fuck. They're just out for goddamn. They got to feed their family. And it turns out that what they do for a living is um, illegal. So what? Didn't stop fucking Al Capone. Didn't stop fucking every criminal. You're just a white collar criminal. You're just a, you're a legal criminal. You're in other words, on paper, you're not breaking the law, but what you're doing is completely unethical, immoral, and evil. But you can so this this uh, gain of function fuck nut is saying, but I've got these tools. Why can't I use them? That's what I do. I I, I play around with shit. Can't you see? I play around with live shit. Now, playing around with dead shit, like if I was to build a house, it's not going to get up and walk away and start beating the shit out of people. But if I build a robot or a um, an active device, which is biological, which is less directable and less programmable than a robot, say I build a shitty robot and it goes off and destroys shit, it's completely different than building a goddamn live organism that can mutate. I and mean, this is the horror of life of any sci-fi horror flick is that motherfucker got out of control. Does anybody see the movie Frankenstein? Did Fauci miss it? What? Are you fucking nuts? And how fucking dumb? And once again, let the fucking Darwin theory kick in and take this shit fuck out. I don't think he even took the vaccine. There's no fucking way, dude. Maybe he did. Maybe he's lucky. You really gonna tell me one size fits all trading, one size fits all fucking medicine? It doesn't work. There's no fucking way. And it, it, so watching me talk about the market is really my view. You, the, the mainstream of trading is just go through it. I'm using Fibonacci, moving averages. There's this video out there which i was gonna talk about but it's just so ridiculous the guy's like here let me show you it's the slickest fucking editing you've ever seen in your life this is the highest end production of a trading video by wise trade um i think it's a y instead of a i in wise trade but wise trade is a famous i think they're brokerage firm and maybe a trading school kind of thing but I met a few people from Wise Trade when I was doing uh, these little mini seminars with MT4 with USB sticks, and this is about uh, seven years ago, maybe. And I was um, trying to look for trading partners uh, in the flesh, you know. And look at this, you know. And I almost picked up a few people, but a lot of people just would they were like, "What the fuck's going on here?" And of course, uh, at that point. They'd already destroyed the brokers, most of my brokers. So I was only down to a handful of uh, brokers. And there's more come on the scene since, but I noticed that people's, uh, there's only a few people, and this is how it typically is, you know, there's only a few people that said, 
wow. And the one guy wrote an S and P 500 script for, and I thought, well, here you go. And, uh, I don't know if it helped him, but I was too curious to see what if I asked a crowd of people and I had about 10 people there and I said, what if we just get in? And I had the Australian dollar, the news was coming out in the Australian dollar. And I had the, uh, I was in a computer lab with, uh, 12 computers and me and I had 12 people show up the first time because I was able to uh, in the flesh you know it's pre-covid and of course uh, it was only it was four hours in a computer lab for 100 bucks and I was like, let's do it you know what the fuck uh, because if I can, if I have somebody which I don't have anybody that trades <laughs> I know the trades forex in the real world. I know people online here. I know people I talk to, and that the 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 people that might call in while I'm streaming. But I won't even talk about trading with people anymore because I'm not helping them. There's no um, the amount of groundwork to lay. Uh, even even in politic arguments, even in any most arguments, most deep considerations of critical decisions, right? So it's supposedly a critical decision to risk money. Well, you bring all guns to bear and all these kind of classic things. But in the end, why why you care? If you're... Um, maybe still on unemployment or something because you whatever you're living your life but maybe you want more out of life and this is the appeal of trading what if i could make money in addition to the money i'm making right now well would would my trading conflict with my schedule of my normal behavior because typically when the news comes out at 8 30 in the morning there's a great opportunity to either get in and get out quickly because the market's fast, you know it's going to be fast when the news comes out. And is that your trade? So Mark Douglas said once that he coached this trader, this guy that could make about $600,000 in the morning, but then trade the rest of the day and lose about four hundred grand. Turns out, well, what he did is he had him trade. He told him, listen, just, just trade that sweet spot. You're good at trading the morning. The rest of it just let it go and uh, he made a lot of money after that because that's his trade that, that is his trade you know and just because you have a seat at the exchange i met a guy like that when i was in a trading course a psychological trading course he sat next to me he was a soybean trader he traded grains and in, in a brokerage firm and he said uh prop firm and he said I just feel compelled to trade because the guys that um, I work with come up and they say to me, are you put on a trader? What man? So he was looking for sweet spot entries. He was a really good trader. You know, he was able to pick a sweet spot and he was that guy, you know, and the pressure so that you can override the best algorithm or the best signal you wrote, you're going to deny that signal. So if you've traded a lot and I've traded a lot of trades, so I know exactly the feeling <laughs> of losing and winning, but it's for how long are you losing and if how long is the time exposure to the loss to the win and every moment's unique and the next moment is unwritten because there is no destiny that's bullshit because if i decide right now to say bullshit twice i'm deciding that on the fly so if you believe in this butterfly effect bullshit too, that should affect something. That's the ultra butterfly, right? The nano fly. If I say bullshit five times, this is the hocus pocus shit. That's as bad as religion because I'm an atheist. So this is because it's a saying that if you step on a crack, you break your mother's back. 
You should never trade on Sunday night. Yeah, this is all bullshit. If you take the world as it's coming at you and trust you can think on your feet, you would need that in the trading. You also need that in real life because, you, like, honestly, two masks. Now I'm seeing episodes on TV of stuff that is recent history. I'm seeing films. People talk about shit that happened two years ago. And in these shots, people are wearing masks. It's either the biggest pussy fucking state I've ever seen in my fucking life or there's really a dangerous thing out there. No, I'm sorry. It's the biggest pussy fucking state I've ever seen in my fucking life. And I would say that flat out, C, the C uh, virus, this bullshit is the same old bullshit called virus that's been around for fucking fucking ever. Just because you dialed into this shit and you decided to put some other poor motherfucker who's having, it's obviously, if you're sick, you're sick. But if I add insult to injury and I deny the cure and I put you on a ventilator because the government built how many fucking ventilators? The government stepped in and took a giant wad of money in a heroic attempt to save people from an accident or a intentional attack. So somebody shoots up your house. Does everybody have to buy Kevlar now? Well, they didn't shoot up enough houses, but so many people died. But those are bullshit numbers. Nobody died of the flu last year. That's weird. And I heard this fucking ad on the radio. The flu seasons might come back. This. Oh, yeah, I thought COVID cured the uh, flu, didn't it? That's a problem. And now, for the first time in my life, I can see the goobers around me. They got a mask on. They're too dumb to understand science. And they're scared to die. Never be afraid to lose on a trade. Never be afraid to die. Every losing trade feels like you're dying. In some you're losing you're 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 dying anyways but now you're you're making it worse so adding to a loser well that's what they're doing they're doubling down you have to take this why because if they say oops they're gonna get sued or whatever it's they have to keep going Plan your trade, trade your plan. So they're pretty fearless. Look at this fucking Biden asshole. Does he think that somebody's going to put a bullet in his head at some point? If he keeps going on, he's hoping that happens. He'd love to be a martyr. But he's not even that brave, I suppose. <clears throat> he's in his basement broadcasting with a green screen. He's got some fake backgrounds now and shit. We went from the most human, the most individualistic president in the world to the most bureaucratic piece of shit on the planet in one day. Because a few people thought that was fucking un-American because apparently America's just nothing now. It reminds me when uh, this famous German company called Fisher was making high-end stereos. They sold their nameplate to some um, corporation that just said, well, we're just going to use your nameplate. Can we buy your fucking logo? And people will think they're getting the same quality. No, it's gone. It's just like the, first, the 60 pages into Atlas Shrugged, you know, the tree's hollow, man. 
the tree you used to play on in a kid is not the strong tree you used to think it was. To me, Hella Shrugged is right down to one image for me. The tree in your yard that you played in as a kid is rotted from the core. That's all. I, I never read. It's like a hologram. You only need one piece to see the whole image. So that book, um, the, the two striking things, because I couldn't read it, it's too much. The clock on the wall. When he walks down the street and he looks up at the clock on the wall, he goes, that clock bugs me and I don't know why. So the lingering anxiety underneath the whole thing expresses itself in people running from one sector to the next. Buy gold, sell gold. Buy silver, sell silver. Explain platinum. Explain platinum to me. Why is platinum under a thousand dollars? Fuck, it used to be expensive. Of course, palladium markets, crazy shit prices. But of course, everything's the price it should be, according to Bill Williams, and it makes sense, right? Everything's equalized right now. Equilibrium is totally being met the whole time. There is no overbought. There is no oversold. There is no more people die in Chicago than, you know, I mean, it's like, it's not about death. It's not about safety. It's about focusing. So you get the same trouble in Forex. You focus too much on one aspect of the overall picture. So you in the, and these people are trapped in this shit. But you got to appreciate uh, people that are just, um, you know, it's just it just happens. But that is the litmus test. The first time we get to see what happens if that happens. Like I just never thought in my life I would drive down a road and nobody's on the fucking road but me. And animals are starting to walk into the road, and I'm just like, really. So people thought 2008 was bad because markets crash, real estate crash, and holy shit, my house, and they took my house away. And now it's like, my health department is going to decide the direction of your life now. The true nanny state. Mommy says you can't go outside because, you know, you're not wearing a scarf. <sighs> Don't try to have too much fun. You know, smiling will give you... If you smile too much, you get wrinkles. And laughing can wear out your voice. Or it can kind of give you some inflammation there. You know, I hear these ads. I don't really... I don't, I don't even think I... I just eat food. I, I was taking vitamins, but it just... What's the point? If you have the will to live... Um, so there is this you could hit you could hit lightning strike strike you and die so are you going to stay inside your whole life so i just i just don't i just don't have this uh, maybe i'm stupid maybe i'm reckless but i just don't care i drive my car every day thinking it could break down somebody could hit me in fact, I could just be parked and somebody could hit me. Those odds are lower, but you just can't worry about this stuff. So coming into the end of the year, this is going to be quite the, how do you land this plane? How do you land the COVID plane? Now I see they're running this new tote board on CNN, which is basically about The vaccinated, unvaccinated. Now, the new, new number is vaccinated, unvaccinated instead of death, death count. When is the minutiae going to get to the point where people with a blue car, people with a red car, people that like pasta, people that like vegetables, um, right? <laughs> Anyways, it's a circus. 
people are so rich they can afford to entertain the most ridiculous fucking shit. That's that's my point I was trying to get to. <laughs> 